similarly to week using the keyword unowned in order to mark a property to become uh, a property that doesn't necessarily hold the reference for an object the difference comparing with uh, using the weak keyword is that if we try to access this uh, property and this property doesn't hold the reference for an object we should get an error unlike uh, using a weak reference uh, that allows us to assign the property with a uh, nil here in this code sample we instantiate teacher and instantiate course and as you can see the new created object from the course class has the property underscore teacher that holds uh, the reference for the teacher object we created over here now in addition I assign the property underscore course in teacher with a reference for the course object so we actually get two objects that each one of them holds a reference for the other now let's uh, take a look at the teacher variable the teacher variable holds a reference for a teacher object currently that teacher object its reference is held uh, both in the teacher variable and in the property underscore teacher in uh, the uh, course object when assigning teacher with nil if we didn't have an owned keyword over here we could say that the teacher object following uh, this line this assignment of nil to the teacher variable we could say that the teacher object uh, still remains alive and the garbage collector won't um, deallocate it because the reference for that uh, teacher object is still kept uh, in the variable in the property underscore teacher in that uh, specific object uh, from the class course that we created over here and therefore if we execute this code sample the only output shall be program is uh, running the execution of this initializer won't take place however if we choose to place the unowned keyword marking this property as unowned one this change means that if there is a teacher object and the reference for that teacher object is held within this property and this property only it won't be sufficient for keeping it alive and the garbage collector will deallocate that object so let's get back to the code we have two objects a, a teacher object a course object each one of them hold the reference for the other then when I assign teacher with uh, nil the teacher object uh, reference is still kept within this property and since we marked this property as unowned one the teacher object will be deallocated meaning that we can expect this the initializer to execute so if we execute the new version now we can see that the output includes this line as well